Good morning, everyone. Happy Set Me Up Sunday. I am just going past the charity bin on the way home. Uh, we were just at church, but I wanted to drop off a whole heap. I think you can see them in the back there in the boot. Christmas decorations. Now, I know that at this time of the year, a lot of people are buying new Christmas things, but I use this time of the year as an opportunity to see all the Christmas things that I have. So we get them all out of the shed, all the boxes out, and I have a look at what I'm actually using. Now, of course, some years our themes change, and I know that whilst I might not use something this year, I'll use it again in the future. But then there are other things that we have had for a couple of years now, and we're just never using them. I am becoming more and more of a fan of minimalist Christmas decorations. So not minimalist, minimalist, I should, I should probably clarify, uh, but just not a whole heap of stuff out in the house because I don't feel as good in the space. So we're doing a Christmas tree. We're putting up a couple of nutcrackers. We're doing Christmas lights outside this year. Uh, but I used to have a lot of little trinkets and we're just not putting them out. It makes the space feel cluttered for us. It doesn't mean that it's not right to put them out there. It's just whatever suits you and your family. And right now, we prefer the way that we've been doing it for a couple of years. So I'm stopping past the charity bin to donate some of our Christmas decorations because there will be families that could really benefit from them this year. And I'd like to see them used in homes rather than taking up space in our shed. So that's what I'm doing to start off Set Me Up Sunday today. Isn't it so fun being up? I'm <laughs> just tripping over the gap. Don't worry, too dry. All right, I've got my airbag. I take my hey, pillow no, with me. No, can I, I need the pillow. No, Where you take the pillow. No, All right, and I'll take my cup of tea. I'll get the Let's pillow. go. Are we going to say goodbye to? Is it say goodbye to the cats? All right, it's flying time.
the shirt that I'd ironed and I've left it at home. So we've got to go back home. We're running three minutes late. Out. I had to race into the toilet. I needed the toilet for about three quarters of the flight. Anyway, this is Archerfield Airport. It's pretty cool. It's got its own little lounge here. It's all locked. Obviously, uh, Tim has um, an asset card. You want to show them something? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're going for more. Anyway, uh, Tim gets access into and out of the airports that we land at, so we wouldn't be able to get in here without him. But it's fabulous. Person? Yeah, this person. You think that's Bert Hinkler? Yeah, he Amazing. Looks like him. Cool. Now, the photo shoot is in an hour's time. This is my hair that I woke up with, and I obviously haven't done makeup. So I bought a different shirt to change into, but we are going for, or I am going for, a really relaxed come as you are photo shoot. So uh, I've got a top to change into, which is also white. Uh, it just gets creased, so I thought I wouldn't fly in it. And uh, I'm going to do my makeup and my hair in the uber <laughs> so it's, it's a photo shoot like no other this time hey boys how was the flight bruce it's pretty good mm -hmm. it's great when you can be in brisbane by like 6 50 in the morning and we only left at five so or just after five all right hopefully daddy comes soon <laughs> The warehouse now today feels like three days in one day because we got up early flew to brisbane did the photo shoot had lunch at the coffee club then flew back home and then i didn't do so well on the flight on the way home so we went home to recharge and rest we had a quick nap and now we have headed to the warehouse for the rest of tonight uh, to pack teacher orders so all in a day <laughs> On a date, although it does feel like it's been three days. <laughs> 